get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? Think Saga. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. Saga was sure she had hit the Taken in the head, but had not even slowed the monster down. She took aim and fired again. Another headshot. This time, the Taken staggered.
Oh, hello there. Another one of those cult boxes. We'll be seeing a deer fest. This year's parade theme is deer, just like every year, so we're not exactly reinventing the wheel here. But first, I need to address something. I know the last couple of shows took a strange turn, with people coming on talking nonsense about certain people passing away. Listen, I know everybody who steps foot in and out of this town. So I'm sure as heck no one Winnie Davis died or went missing. There's a right. People just burst in here and expect others to clean up after them. Okie dokie. I don't like the sounds coming from the station. out. Always a good sign. Anyone here? I'm here, in the closet. There's Taken inside.
Need to find the key. Holding cells. Is that where they're keeping Wake? Door is locked, though. Agent Estevez? Is that you? Anderson? Did I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. Looks like. My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there's a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the Shadow, and if you don't... taken. Yeah. I'll handle it. We will watch! Clear, Estevez. Need the key. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Uh, we came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the Shadow in some way. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him. Out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the Shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources, problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Estevez, I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. You'll need these keys. Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. Do you read me, Anderson? I read you. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah, on it. Another cult stash?
Stay the fuck down! Casey! Is that you? Anderson? Hey, Anderson. Like what I've done with the place. Hmm. Could use a bit more light. Funny. Stay put, Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just... It's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a... a nice chat about... ex-wives with, uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, uh, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the... Situation on your end. Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story is changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh. The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What are you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence. It's real, too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember... Some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. I can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. That's not right.
Nah. <laughs> the cell door won't open without power. Good news, bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. Behind the counter. Got a little cramped in that closet. What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. Don't let your guard down. Is the FBC sending any help? We were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, et cetera, et cetera. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Wish me luck. According to the Luck and Probability Department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. An electrical lock system with no failsafe. Smart.
saga. Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker! You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking Saga. idea. Let Do us out. It. You can't stop it. None of you can. We can take care of you this. You wrote Logan into the story. You told me yourself from the dark place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. He's... My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! Don't fucking give it to him! He's a fucking monster, Saga! There it is. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you! Pretending to be wake. The plan is fucked. Estevez, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit isn't prepped, but the light array should affect him. How do I activate the lights? I can turn them on from here. Mm. But you need to prime the These must power the light array. I need to find more. <gasps> He's too fast. Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. 
So what's the plan? Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always Scratch. The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <sighs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau Intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. was pretending to be awake, manipulating me. What does he want from me? No, I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful, too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick, like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. Don't need to go over all this again. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. The dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Keep trying.
Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. No one's might kill me. That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. is a gateway to the dark place. What the hell is a parry utilitarian? Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. I need to know what information I can still trust. Makes sense. Clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. Wake told me the Clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker to make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the Clicker was true. He wasn't lying. The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here. 
Even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Oh, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I've got it now. 
I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything. For good. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. You let me know when you're ready. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yaku was all hard. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect water in bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look. We've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. 
You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just named it half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. I'm sure Sheriff Breaker wouldn't mind me borrowing this. Ready to go? I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch will try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Elmo said the cult kills Taken. Truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the taken. We're on the same side. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale talk to one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! The tour bus is already loaded, and we've said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. 
a lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. I hope they've still got it. I'm running out of time. Right. That must be Torn Odin. Maybe I should check in. Kiddo! We're almost at the gig! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! <laughs> the bus is our hammer! I'm driving with one hand! I need you to meet me for sure. Is the song ready? Almost! Odin's got a killer chorus! Come save your soul! Awake new and whole. By name I will grow. Tree! Tree! What tree? There's no tree in the sky! Who the fuck put the tree in the middle of the road? I'm not on a road! Drive carefully, Grandpa. Pedal to the metal, bro! Metal to the metal! Very rock 
and roll way to drive. In one fluid motion, Saga cracked open the shotgun, sending the empty hulls flying over her shoulder, and slammed the new shells in faster than she had imagined possible.
lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. The Torin Ode in there yet? <laughs> the two golden oldies? Well, they're here. And they bought moonshine. I love them already. <laughs> they're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? Well, that's them. I'll be there soon. Another rhyme. One, two. One, two. I am feeling tonight cold and late. <laughs> Been a while since we played on this shore. Plastic dermis. My yeah. out here. partner here.
know. We're ready to rock and roll. Just say when. We're ready when you are. Grandpa, you signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Colgan Wake! Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Prepare to experience a soul searing mind fried act of black magic and sorcery! This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you to the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Ah! Hey, you're making me look bad in front of Saga, bro. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. <laughs>
I did everything right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? <sighs> so where the fuck is he? I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different, like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late. Still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art.
did. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. <laughs> I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. We'll meet him when you're gone. Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake, with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it. And blast it with all you got.
Official. Tear Fest is cancelled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom. Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The Shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. 
Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. <sighs> well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The dark presence held all the cards now. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left, a dark forest outside Bright Falls, a gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other, haunted by my own writing, Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do, stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Watch in the night! Government put up a fence!
dark place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was hunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. It turned me into scratch. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was gonna make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this, I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Expected. Alan Wake is this generation's greatest storyteller. Hello, I'm Ian Lokoskova, and welcome to the Koskova Brothers Book Club. This week, we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake. Windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To 
to rewrite the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story. Room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here, it would keep spreading. What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Diner, how are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you. So Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We'll loop around and come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest palm. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter. I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right.
Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? I can't sense anyone. Nothing's working. I can't think straight. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? Where is everything? The dark presence took over Casey. Stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Colgen Lake. 
I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what... The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in the dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault! I'm a terrible mother! I let my daughter die! I'm a failure! This is what I deserve! Story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. She's not dead. God damn it. I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Something's very fucking wrong here. Water is so cold. 
I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. I never should have trusted these. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. This case... This room... Is any of it even real? This isn't... What? Why is this happening? What's happening? He was hurt. I should have been watching his back. Wait, what? He was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. What's happening to me? I spent too much time away from Logan. I'm out with you cultist maniacs! I never should have left KC at the hotel by himself. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. What the hell? What? No. Just the big. 
beginning of the spiral. Logan. The horror story used her. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. God damn it! No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I drag Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever! Just me and my past! My guilt! My mistakes! I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. No, I'm not reading anymore. I am honored by this award. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is.
I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing! Fuck, no! Shit! God damn it! No, this is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. What the fuck? I'm not a perfect mom, but I'm doing my best. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. I can't do this. A charm, charm bracelet, bracelet, bracelet for good luck. good luck. I made a matching one for me, so, so bring me back something cool from Washington. Washington. Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. It's okay to be afraid, but I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't! I just, I just want it to stop! Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. Shit! made mistakes. I'll make more, but I can do better, and I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt, but nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt, but I will fight. The Dark Place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home.
phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? It's me again. You need to go to the statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. The ending? A shoebox? Who is this? Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orland Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there were many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. It describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warland Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard.
I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. Enough already. The clicker and some kind of bullet shining with light. How did the clicker get here from Washington? There's the shoebox. again. Yes? Hello. Uh, you don't know me, but you need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to contact him. My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree, but we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I can't 
can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending, but this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. Finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. <laughs> And I will see. I see? The end. Scratch! Now! <laughs> a white searing light of truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. There's nothing waiting to be revealed. The play of shadows fool us 
soul subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. It's destroyed by what he sees, and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing will sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place? Another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning. The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting. To know nothing when we loop around, back to the... is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with, with Echoes of myself, my, my, my fears, my photos, inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light, your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. <laughs> 